Using your Zoom, by the way, because it's the only way I can record it at that time. But if you look at it, you'll see it's got that. What? What do you want to say for them? I'm just trying to see if, like, because that's what it's going to look like. I just do. I just want you to see. I don't care right now. Okay. Okay. Okay.
morning. How are we today? Good, thank you. Good, good. Right, um, we're pretty much good to go. So, you guys know who I'm been coming every week, so I'm not going to well, drop it off there. As it's dropped off, she's back. Um, you know the score, so we'll be flowing through as we go today. Um, as I go through, we'll sort of progress each little section as we go. If you need to modify, you can just take the section and just progress it. We'll, we'll, we'll build up with each one. Um, there will be some leg work in today and a little bit of balance work included today, so be ready for that. We'll get a little bit of a warmer whistle off first, so let's get going. Morning, Susan. So as always, all you need with you is a couple of blocks if you want, a towel and some water. Remember always, as I say, it's your practice, so take it for what works for you today. So if you want to go a little bit harder, then you can push it a little bit harder. If you want to take it a little bit easier, then you can take it a little bit easier. First things first for today, just come onto the mat and give it a couple of seconds just to breathe and get present. So feel about shoulder width, come into Tadasana, mountain pose, hands by the side, middle fingers running along the seams, shoulders up and back. So that you're in that good posture. Think about stacking each set of joints one on top of the other. Big deep breath in. Exhale. Again. Exhaling. One more breath. Exhale. From there, right foot from centre. Just taking a slightly longer stance. The heels pointing together. I'm going to rotate my hips, strengthening the legs. All I'm going to do is compactly reach a little lean forward, reaching the arms up. Hands then come to the hips. Take that a little bit further. I'm rotating my hips so they're pointing along the mat. Thighs are touching inner thighs. Excellent. From there, we're just going to walk down to just above the knee. We're not pushing, we're just supporting. Excellent. From there, you can come a little bit further. If you have your props or supports, you can then come on to those. All of the while, just rotating so those inner thighs just touch. Again, with your blocks, remember you can choose whether you go long ways or short ways. All of the while, thinking about that back position, lengthening the back, I'm driving my right hip back, I'm driving my left hip forwards. Excellent. Just step into the front, a little forward fold, just release the neck. Again, if you have your props, you can use them. You can go mid shins, you can go thighs, whatever works for you. Just release that neck. And just begin to loosen off and open up the hamstrings. Soften the knees. Inhaling, just rolling all the way up. Big inhale, hands come together overhead. Exhale. To prayer. Take that right leg back now, so left toes in front, pointing straight forward, heels on the same line. Rotate the hips to start, reach, and just take that little half fold. Perfect. Lengthening out. Hands then coming to hips. Folding that a little bit further. Remember, my quad feet here, both thighs are switched on, so I'm not just sort of hanging loose off them. They're actively engaged. Coming a little bit further, options onto your blocks or your props. Again, always thinking about that core. So drawing in through the belly button, rotating the hips. Left hip drives back, right hip drives forwards. 
lengthening along the spine. Again, if you've got a mirror right about, always a good one is just to check in with your back. What is your back doing? We're not locking any of the joints. The joints are remaining soft. Next, from there, just stepping forward, taking it into that forward fold, releasing the neck. You can lengthen a little bit more of that motion we just said. Apply it to the hands. Just take a big step back into that high plank position. Just starting to get the arms to switch on now, using this time to think about that hand position. My weight is moving to the inside of my hands towards the thumbs of the first finger. I'm rotating my elbows so the inside of the elbow points forwards. Perfect. From there, rocking forwards very slightly, you can drop to the knees here, and then we're just sinking through Chaturanga, or you can stay on the toes, whatever works for you. From here, pointing the toes, and just a gentle knee lift to your side, so just a small amount. Take this time to think about it again, engaging through the legs, squeezing the glutes. So that posterior is all switched on. Focusing on feeling the muscles, hamstrings, glutes, lower back, upper back, everything. I'm still lengthening through the neck. Perfect, just lower the head. We're gonna switch on a little bit more now. So disengage the hands. Thumbs are pointing to the mat, hands face each other. And we're just going to lift. Same lift, and staying without the arms to support. I'm reaching my fingertips back towards my feet. Excellent. Bring the hands back on. Tuck the toes, option. You can push up for a full push up, or you can just stay on the knees. So I'll demo with all the knees for just now. Pushing back onto the knees. Just holding in that plank. So you can either get healing or you feel plank. Perfect. And then slowly back into the first start down dog of today. Again, to start off with, you can keep the knees soft. I sometimes like to just soften the knees just so I can focus more in on my back. I'm pressing my chest forward. So I'm opening the shoulders, opening the chest. And I'm just going to head on the heels a little bit towards the back. Perfect. Excellent. Take that left foot center, lift the right. And all we're going to do with that right leg now is bring it straight forwards and immediately drop to the knee. Inhale. Reaching up. Exhaling, my left arm comes out in front, my right arm goes behind. Little rotation. If that's a bit much in my shoulder, I can just keep the hand on my hip. Otherwise, it's lengthening straight up behind. Again, depending on your balance. You can either look towards the back hand, you can look forwards. Whatever works for you. Take your gaze to a far away point. Perfect. Rotating back to the front. Again, if you want your props here, we're going to tilt back into a little hamstring stretch. I'm really focusing on this one. I'm making sure my back remains long and in that good posture. Excellent. Just lengthening up back like that was sick. Then coming back forwards again, pushing a little bit further forwards. Arms this thing come behind, interlock the fingers, pushing back. Easier option here is just hands on the hips and I squeeze the elbows back. If I want to go more, I'm going to interlock the fingers and point. 
hands together, you're going to feel a little bit of work and a little bit more of opening across the chest. So whatever works for you, just here. Excellent. And back. Pushing the chest, lifting the chest, hinging from the hips. Good job. Again, thinking of those arms being straight, not locked out, but just straight. What that means is all the muscles of the arm are switching on to engage and support the joints. Perfect. Forwards, plant the hands, step back, a little vinyasa here. So more through chaturanga, up into up dog, or you can stick with that mini cobra from earlier, your choice. The legs are switched on here, everything switched on. Back to chaturanga, pushing back to down dog. Again, you can remain in that bent like down dog if you want, or you can come to full down dog, stretching through the entirety of that posse of your chain. Excellent. Right foot step center, left comes forward, dropping to the knee immediately. Unengage the toe. Lifting tall to start off with. Core is engaged here, so I feel that opening through the front of my right hip. Excellent. And from there, rotating. So right arm, hand faces out at the left knee. The other arm opens, or option is on the hip. And I'm rotating through the shoulders. My gaze is either in front, or I can look a little bit behind. Depends on your balance today. Good. A hey, quick little question. Is your core engaged? Is your core switched on to stabilize and support? I'm asking a question because I can't see anyone. Good. Excellent. Come to the front. Again, if you have your props, you can use your props. If you do not have props, you can either just come hands on hips. You can knees a bit iffy in this, because if I'm not a bit my props here, my knees a bit tender, I might put a towel under my knee, or I can use props, or I can just be here. The key is that the back remains long. Yeah, as soon as I start to round, I need to find a different position for that. Feeling that stretch, this hips from the backwards. Chest is lifting forwards and up. Good plant coming forward again. Knee coming over so that shin is vertical. Lifting straight up. Hands coming behind. Remember my options. I can interlock the fingers or I can just place hands in my lower back and squeeze the elbows. Hands together is a challenge if you want. So as I bring my palms together, I feel a little bit of a little bit of work in my forearms. Sinking in, chest remaining lifted. Lengthening, creating space through the body. With each breath, feel that space expand and then just, if you can, if it works for you, move into that space. Excellent release. Hands come to your props or to the floor, lengthening the back. It's that little hamstring stretch. So the more I lift the chest, the more I'm going to feel that stretch. This is where you find that difference between stretching muscles and stretching movements, stretching fascia. So all that connective tissue binds the body together. It's funny how when I lift my chest, I feel more stretch in my, my hamstring and my calf. From there, foot plants, coming forwards, planting the hands, stepping back, take that little vinyasa, forwards, into up dog. Taking a little bit of pause rotating, chest is lifted, shoulders pulling back, legs engaged. Back to chaturanga, back to down dog.
Take me just a second. I'm going to tip through the bend and knees, lift the front to that, and just step forwards. Releasing into that forward fold. Inhaling, lengthening through the back. Exhaling, folding once more. Remember every fold progressing a little bit further. Next in breath, all the way up. Hands come together, and press forward into a gentle back bend. Just hold here for a second. So I'm reaching straight to the ceiling, gaze between my thumbs. And exhale to prayer. Okay, we're going to move into a little section that has a little bit of balance and a little bit of leg work. So, Let's get ready for that. First one we're going to do is inhale to chair to start. So we inhale, sweeping round, chair, just to switch on. Chest is lifted, keeping your torso nice and tall, arms pointing straight forwards. If you find issues with hands overhead, you can just come to hands on hips. Right. From there, standing back up. Hands coming to prayer. From there, just bring the foot. Knees going to point straight forwards. I'm just loading into my left leg just now. So all my weight in that left leg. Easy is just here in front. Foot for support. The less weight you put into that right leg, the more work you can feel on the left. From there, pointing the right foot in front just a little bit. If you've noticed now, my left leg is soft, knee is bent. So now the muscles are working. Holding here for a second. Knee lifts, comes out behind. So it's straight out. So I went north now, I went south with that leg. The front leg is soft. That means they're working in that thigh. Working in that full left leg. Excellent. From there, knee lifts. And it goes out to one side. So right leg moving right. Still holding prayer. It's just a small bend of that leg. You should start to feel this leg switch on now. Excellent. He lifts, you can touch. If you want a little bit more balance, then it goes the opposite direction. So a little reach out. So now my right leg has went left. I'm working now to straighten the right leg. The left leg is bent. Excellent. Come back to the middle. Load the right leg. Toe comes to the floor. How's that, how's that left leg feeling now? That was just level one. Three levels. Bend the knee, point in front. Right leg is pointing straight forward with that knee. Left foot out. Hands just in prayer, nice and relaxed. Just notice if you're starting to press together too much. Try and keep that upper body. Nice and relaxed. You lift slightly. Remember the option is just to touch the toe on the floor. So I'm going to take that option just now because I know that we're going to be working hard on a second. Now it goes straight out behind. Oops. Let's see how my balance gets on with this. Again, if you need and you wanted to, you can have a chair nearby or a pet. Whatever works for you. He comes in, touches in the middle. Left leg goes left now. And I'm reaching as far as I can. My weight now, center of my body, is over my right foot. Posture still tall. Left leg is straight, right leg is slightly bent. Excellent. Come back to center. Left leg travels right. I'm straightening my left leg. My right leg is bent slightly, hands still in prayer. Excellent. Come back to center. Give the legs a little shake. We're going to go through that again another twice. This time, if you want to challenge a little bit more, 
all you're going to do is not touch the floor in between. We're going to extend the range a little bit as well. So each time I reach, and I reach in front, I'm going to reach a little bit further. We're going to progress into almost a, a warrior three as the leg goes out behind. And we'll progress almost into that side lunge as we go to the side. So hands come back to prayer. We're going to lift the leg this time. It's going to come about halfway in front. So just halfway. Dorsiflex the foot, pull the toes up. This time, if you want, you can keep that supporting leg straight and strong. Option with the hands, if you want a little bit more balance, is to take the hands wide. So just extend the leg in front now. Again, you still have that option. You can support that leg in the floor like you did in that last set. Excellent. Knee comes in. It now comes out behind. We hinge slightly forward. Not a lot, though. I'm not looking for you to tilt fully. I want you to remain tall. So it's kind of like we did. That's why we did the work on the floor to switch on those back muscles. Foot still dorsiflex out behind. So that is toes pulling back to shin. Excellent. Knee comes halfway. This time it was out to the side. This time we will soften the leg and then we point the toe. So, left leg is bent, right leg is straight. Oh, we touch down the balance, come back in halfway. As soon as we come back in, toes lift. The single leg comes round behind. Sinking a little bit more, toes pointing, right foot pointing to the left. I'm trying to hover it just above the floor. I mean, every again, I touch though because it's challenging. Eyes, gaze fixed on the point in front. I've got a door handle, I'm just looking at it. Excellent. Come back, hold, reach, and back down, hands come together. Give that left leg a little shake. You should have felt some work in there. Let's switch sides now. So weight goes into the right leg. The right leg becomes support, the left leg becomes the perfect leg. So knee lifts just halfway. Toes are dorsiflexed. Arms can be spread, or for extra challenge, you can keep them in that prayer position. Just remember not to force it, not to press together too hard. Extend. Toes are pulled back towards you. Quads, that's these big muscles at the front of your thighs, switched on. Toes are spread. I don't know if that's just to take away from the, the work that I'm feeling. All of this is balanced. So, Knee lifts, we come back into that almost a warrior three, but I'm leaning here, keeping the body tall here. Legs are strong and straight. Option as always is to bend the knee and just rest the, the leg on the floor. But we're always working to progress that little bit. If I need to take a rest, I can just point the thing back. He comes back, this time left leg goes left. This time I soften the knee and I point. So right knee is now soft, left leg is straight, toe is pointed. Body's up tall. Oops, a little bit of balance there. I might take my hands back out, a little bit wobbly there. Good. Come back and lift. This time left leg shoots out to the right. A little bit of balance there. I always find if you stick your tongue out, it helps. Balance. Good. Body up tall. Think about the weight moving towards the heel of that right leg. Excellent. Knee lifts. Reach and rest. Take a little shake off. We've got one more set. This time we progress a little bit further. There are some options within this if you want to take them, you can do so. Legs should be feeling some work. She feels some work around the hips. Last week we opened the hips. Today we're working through the hips. We're working all of those muscles, hip flexors, those abductors at the side, the adductors, as well as the glutes. Everything around the hips is working. So this time we're aiming to get the thigh parallel to the floor as we lift. So from here, 
Hands come to prayer. We're going to open, inhaling, reach into the ceiling. That right leg now, thigh is parallel to the floor. Arms, come down, just hold it, just take a little second. Option here, if you like, you can reach and grab your foot. So from here, extending. Hand can come to hip or extend out behind. Knee bends, hands come back, support around the knee. This time, right arm. We're going to move more into a dancer. So I slide my hand down to my ankle. I let the knee draw. Left arm reaches tall. From here, I press, trying to, as if I'm trying to break free of my grip. And then I just hinge, pressing. So I want a little bit more. I can take Yan Mudra from the front. First finger and thumb touching and extending. And here, if I want a little bit more, I'm just extending that leg up behind, kicking that leg up. Holding. You still have all of the previous options. Excellent. Come back. Gravel. This time, oops, a little wobble there. I'm going to reach down, grabbing my tool with two fingers. Leg comes out front and then comes to the side. A little bit of work and balance there. Like still all previous options are there. And release. Back to the front. Holding, last one. Arms come wide, bend that leg your lowest yet, reaching that leg as far as you can now. Big working of the glutes, holding, 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 back, inhale, and down. Ooh. Did anybody feel that? Did anybody feel the work in the leg here? I hope you did, because I did. Right through from center, we repeat now with the left. So from here, hands come to prayer. Inhale, leg lifts, arms come down, supporting that left leg. With my right arm, I'm going to slide it down my shin to grab the foot with the right hand. From there, extending the leg, left arm comes out behind. Knees on a fixed point in front. I'm always looking at this door handle, this red right one here in front of me. Open, tall. Good, good, good. And then he comes high, release. Supporting. So we move into that dancer. So the left hand slides down to grab at the ankle. Take a second to support. The right arm lifts. I kick in and press my left ankle into my hand. I can take the arm mudra with the hand, finger, first finger, fourth finger, sorry, first finger and thumb, and I start to tilt, kicking that leg away and just hinging. I don't need to come all the way forwards, but I'm working at lifting that leg up and back into dancer. A little bit of rotation. Work that balance. Cold is engaged here. So I'm walking here, which is supported through that hip. Good. Coming back. Knee lifts. I slide the left hand down, grabbing my toe with two fingers. Leg out front, and leg comes out to the side. Go back. We're only holding three, four seconds each side. Good, hold. And then back in. Arms spread wide. Leg comes under and behind. It's that curtsy style. Oops. Arms back. And then we're reaching as far as we can with that left leg, sinking as low as we can with the right. 
手抽抽。Okay, step the front of the mat to that side. Hit distance, remember? To fist weights. I'm just going to move straight into a full flow. Your options whenever we do chaturanga is on the knees. Your options whenever we do the down dog is a bed leg down dog. You can either step or jump as we move back. So from here, hands front to prayer. We've got about 15 minutes left. 10 minutes of work, five minutes of relaxation. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step or jump. All the way into that up dog. Holding for a second. Chaturanga. Down dog, reset the feet, heels point out slightly. Strong arms, straight arms. Core drawing away from the thighs. Belly button hollowing this to the hole ever so slightly. Knee soften, look to the front of the mat, step or jump. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Strong legs and back. Inhale. Gentle back bend. Exhale. Prayer. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale, step or jump. Two up dog. Strong legs here, remember. Strong straight legs. Back to Chaturanga. Back to Down Dog. Resetting. Moment of stillness. Front of the mat. Step or jump. Exhaling. Forward. Inhale, lengthen. Working the core, pushing the hips back. Exhale. Inhale, all the way up. To that back of the hips, press forwards. Just to enjoy it. Exhale, standing wide. Can you straighten the arms and try and press into the hands, unloading the feet almost? Inhale, the leg pull back. Exhale. Second. Strong arms. Pressing in through the middle of the hand. Looking to the front. Step or jump. Exhaling, press into the left. Unloading the feet almost. And he'll lengthen it. Exhale, fold. So inhale all the way up. Exhale. Prayer. Okay. From there, take the feet a little bit longer. 
And all we're going to do is sit down as long as we can and settle. A little touch of core work now. Just going to pop the blocks to the side. So we're going to work a little bit of bridge work here. Feet, hip distance apart. Leaning back, long body till my hands support on the knees, arms are straight. Excellent. From there, just release the hands, keep the position with the torso. So I'm growing through my torso, making it as long as I can. Option is easier, option is just holding. Perfect. From there, extend one leg. And we're just going to lower till my heels a couple of inches off the floor. My shoulders are a couple of inches off the floor. The turn, holding. Let's switch. Just shift my mic a little bit more. Excellent. Left leg neck, two points straight forwards. Hold on for a second. Torso remains tall. Lowering. Inch with the heel. Inch with the shoulders. Back up. Remaining tall, lifting the chest up, not forwards. Drop. Come up, a little rest. Perfect. We'll do one more of those, half, and then we'll move into the full one. Lean back. Option as always is keep the hands where they are. A little bit harder, we remove the hands. Right leg, two points straight forwards. Extend. Hold. And pressing my low back into the floor, pulling in through my abs and my core. Here, add a little arm. Extension. Back, down. Left leg, left hold. Extend. Lower back on the floor, shoulders off. Lengthening, not shortening. Up, hold. Then our arm extension. Return to forwards and rest. Lift that chest, keep lifting, don't just slouch and sit down on it. One more time. This time we go for the full thing, so we'll do both legs at the same time. If you're ready. Remember, always the options there. Yeah, hands on the knees, half option. You can keep the knee. Hand on the knee when you do the half option as well. Whatever works for you. Okay. Come back. Straight arms. Move the hands. Both legs this time. Little space between. Extend. Heels a couple of inches off the floor. 2.5 centimeters from the upper floor. Hold it. Extending through the big toes. Come back there. Halfway. And that arm extension. One more time. Because we get two in each. Extend. Back up. Arm extension. And back here. Nice. Okay, from there. Sit one to your front. Dropping down, just a mini little cobra. Use the arms to support your excellent. Okay, I want you to get ready for a little relaxation. So Shavasana, corpse pose, signifying death of the old, beginning of the new. So all we're going to do is lie flat onto our backs. The option is to just sit in a little block. I'm going to choose today, rather than sitting cross-legged, to kneel. I'm going to use a little block between my knees to sit on. I always like to put a towel with this, I'm not sweating on it. So if you're in Shavasana, flatten your back. 
arms out to the side, hands facing up. Toes just dropping out ever so gently. Half Shavasana, flat on the floor, letting the knees fold and touch. Find the position that's just comfortable for you. So find that position. We're just going to start with two big breaths. There you go. Feeling through the nose. Exhale through the mouth with the little sigh. That's one. Inhale. Exhale. Awareness and just whether you're sitting, whether you're lying. As you went here, I just want to tense. Not so much to be cramped, just as gentle tense. And exhale, just let go. As soon as you inhale, tense the feet. And lower leg. So bring the knee down to everything. And you have one. Let go of one. Let go of anything that doesn't serve you. Let go of tension. Whether in the mind, the heart, or the muscles. And you have this thing with the full leg and the head spine. Just let it go. 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 Our next in breath, tensing the glutes, the core, everything from the ribs each time. Exhale. Feel yourself sinking to the mouth. Tension just dripping away from the body. Next in breath, everything from the shoulders down, arms, fist, pecs, back, and your whole body from the shoulders down. And exhale. Just release. One more feet this time, ten steps. Crunch the jaw, press the tongue on the top of the squeeze the eyes shut. And exhale. Releasing everything. Releasing conscious control. Feeling the body set and response to the mind. And we're at just begin to be aware once more. 
visualize for the further great open weight, feeling the body in energy, feeling just that gentle weakening of the fingers, toes, all the muscles. And next in breath again, keep the knees to the chest. If you're sitting up tall, really just the back of that chest slowly. Gentle movement of the head, the neck, the nose and your back swimming onto that right hand side, pressing the left hand on the floor, just slowly sitting up. Everyone finding themselves sitting tall with hands in prayer position. Lifting the base of the thumbs to the center between the eyebrows, clarity. This vision. I get the breath, exhale that side body, and I see. Well, I know which is highest in the air, and that you. And thank you so, so much for choosing to be here on Tuesday morning and sharing your practice with me. Um, hopefully, you all enjoyed that, got a little bit through that. We worked a little bit more through the legs today, um, a little bit of balance working, still flowing, still with movement. And you can progress it. So, all of these little things are things that you can practice by yourself. And um, remember, one session a week contains you're looking for three or more for progression. So, she's quick to go be with that. And hey, thank you so much. And I will see you guys again next week. Remember to pop me a little message on Instagram. It's just Kevin Wright Live Right or onto the Village Gym page um, and give a little shout out on there. So, Guys, thank you so, so much, and I'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.